here with Extra Mustard. This is Dan Treadway, and I am interviewing Patrick Patterson of the Toronto Raptors. Now we we got to go an English Quebecois battle right here. All right, All right Montreal. Right now, who's the toughest team for you guys to play? It's always Indiana and Miami. Uh, Miami, of course, because LeBron and Dwayne Wade get all the get all the calls. That's well known. Um, just because Indiana, uh, they've come so far and they, you know, built a strong team and they've got great leaders on that team with David West and Paul George merged to an all-star player. They have tremendous size, so they're always a tough physical team to go up against. Wildcats are in the final four. Wildcats are in the final four going on to Texas. Did you see that coming? Uh, I knew if they got by Wichita State, then they'd make it to the yeah. four. I was fresh right. playing like men. Well, you're at Kentucky. You played under you played under Billy Gillespie, and then you played under uh, John Calipari. What were the big differences between playing under those two, those two coaches? Oh, the style of play, how they talk to and related to players. On a personal level, you think Carl, Calipari might have communicated better? Yeah, he relates to his players so much better. He's able to, you know, get the best out of his players. He can be, you know, that mean, tough guy, but he can be that warm, loving coach at the same time. When Calipari came in my junior year, I was pretty much a six eight five man. Never took a jump shot. And when he came in, he had me work out with the whip every single day and work on my jump shot. He introduced me to what I pretty much am now, a stretch four. So it was great. Why do you think he recruits so well? Uh, I think because... He doesn't tell players what they want to hear. Um, he's such a family-oriented guy, and kids like that now these days. You know, they like the type of coach who they can trust and believe in. And he provides that. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> I got you, Patterson. Come on, Toronto. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Real pressure here now. If only you could see me right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can not let me have the lead for two minutes. No, I can't. I can't do that. So you, you stay until your junior year. You think it helped you? If one of the let's say if the Harrison twins came out and asked for your opinion if they should go to the NBA, what would you tell them? I pretty much tell them if they feel like they've accomplished everything they felt like they need to at Kentucky. If the situation is better for them in the NBA and they think that they're ready and they have nothing else to work on, then uh, yeah go ahead and make the leap, but if they feel like they have to improve and they're not satisfied with, with what they've done, then stay another year at Kentucky. Have fun and get better. Do you think they're ready? Um, honestly, no. Um, just because here of late, since the tournament in March began, they've lived up to the hype coming into Kentucky, in my opinion, about the year since yeah. uh, the first game long time ago, I don't think they truly lived up to, you know, what we all thought they were going to be. Well, I mean, on that note, I think NCAA athletes should be compensated? Uh, I feel like they should, but then the problem yes. comes how much. And, you yeah. know, if you, if you look at Kentucky, if you look at Duke, North Carolina, elite schools like that, would they get paid more than uh, St. Louis or, you know, one of those lower schools. And if a school's D1, do D1 schools get paid more than D2? And I think if you did something like that, if they were to get paid more, then that would help yeah. recruits to want to go to those, you know, schools even more so than what they already do. So if, if schools were to pay athletes, um, each athlete, of course, would have to get the same amount no matter where at, but it's all about finding that 
that fine figure, but at the end of the day, I don't believe it's going to happen because I think it'll ruin college basketball. What do you think of the one and done rule or the possible two years rule that Adam Silver's talking about? What's your opinion? I hate the one and done rule. Um, I think it kills collegiate basketball. Uh, we only get to see these players for one year. <laughs> for the players just go to college as a means to prepare for the NBA. You know, they can care less about school. Uh, they can care less yeah. about the university. In my opinion, it should even be two years outside, you know, of uh, high school. You know, high school two years and you go to the NBA. Or yeah. you can leave straight out of high school. Has it bothered you at all seeing what go- what's been going on in Kentucky the past few years? Yeah, not necessarily just because we've been winning. You know, I would love to see what would happen Woo. if not would have stayed. The Raptors, they're a huge surprise. Why are they doing so well this year? For that for, for that same reason, you know, we're real energetic. Uh, we're real focused. Uh, there's no selfishness on this team. Everyone's playing for each other, and we play hard. When a professional athlete, when, when one of you guys gets traded, do you guys take a close look at who you're traded for and sort of measure them up? Oh, yeah. I look at who, um, who you know, who I got traded for and what their stats were compared to mine and what the situation was. Yeah, what's the last movie you saw? last movie I saw was... Oh, what was that movie called? Um, oh, it was Need for Speed. That's what it was. Need for Speed. Oh, how was that? That was with um, Jesse Pinkman. Jesse. Yeah, so it picks off where uh, <laughs> when Jesse leaves off of Breaking Bad. That's Minnie. Yeah. <laughs> uses all that money to buy an auto shop. You know, that's how it picks off. <laughs> that sounds like a much better movie. <laughs> good. Uh, Tell me about Pat's pick. Yeah, so it was just pretty much, you know, things that I like, things that I see. I'll just put on Instagram, tweet, and have other people interact with and challenge them to find things that I like. The item that I tweet, if not better, and uh, just let them know that this is something, whether it's a movie or clothes, it's something that they must get or be involved with. Oh, my God. (laughs) No, keep doing doing the plug. I just got some offense. Keep going. (laughs) Wow. I thought I, I, thought <laughs> I hit that. Oh. 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 Come oh. on. <laughs> it's, it's a pole. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Oh. Is that the pole? No. So when you play 2K, do you play as yourself? Oh, yeah. You know, I got to score. Oh, yeah. Points for me. What's this? feel like versus the other NBA locker rooms you've been in? Is it just, is there just a little more camaraderie or uh, what do you think? I think, yeah. Just a little bit more. Uh, there's, there's no problems, there's no fights, there's no arguments, there's no beat your tour and another teammate. You know, we all love one another and we all get along with one another. And when you have that, you no problems. Everyone's just working towards, you know, a bigger goal, a bigger picture. And that's the playoff. This is a lot of fun, Patrick. Really appreciate your time. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to watching you guys in the playoffs. Take care. You too, man.